The one big habit that's getting in the way of getting what you want. So make sure you listen to this one all the way to the end and get all the knowledge you can to help you and that you can address and change. That's what these videos are about in order to get what you want. One big habit. Wait for it. Hi, welcome back to my channel. The last three weeks I've been doing a series on change and why it's so important that you are changing at this time. And not only is it important, but it is actually mandatory. As you can see, everything in our world is going all over the place. When everything's changing around you, you can't just be like a rock in the middle of a river not getting everywhere while everything else around you is rushing by and going to new places, doing new things. Part of life is change. Nothing ever stays the same. And one thing that humans tend to do is want to stay the same, but get different results, which never works. Or even if someone thinks that this is how I like my life and I don't want to change, life is ever changing. There's never anything that doesn't ever change. So that's not a natural cycle for you to be in. That's not a natural way for you to be. And when you're saying that you don't need to change or you don't want to change, that everything's just perfect the way it is, if you don't make any steps to changing or do anything to change, something's going to happen in your life to force a change. And that's always worse. It's always better to be the one that is leading your destiny, leading your life, because then you're the one with the roadmap. You're the one determining what you're heading for. But if you're just staying stuck like a rock, thinking that nothing's going to change, at some point there's going to be a landslide or a waterfall that pushes you into a change that one, you may not like, two, you're not going to be ready for, and three, it could uproot your whole life, your whole world. And so when you can be flexible and know that the natural process is change and do things to constant, not constantly like every day, but continually in the flow, do things to upgrade your life. And maybe it's not like doing things like fixing the house and doing something different to the house or moving or doing something physical like that. A lot of times it's about maybe changing yourself. And in my last video, I was talking about changing your personality. And I know that sounds weird to say it that way because people would say normally, how dare you say change my personality? That's me, that's my unique self. I'm not changing my personality for anyone. It's not about changing who you are as a person. The point of that was, and you should watch that video if you didn't watch it from last week, the point of it is changing things that trauma caused in your life or big difficulties caused in your life that might create fears in your life, that might create traumas in your life that pop up when certain things happen that are actually hindering you. They can also get in the way of your relationships. If you have brought on some kind of a attitude about blocking people out or a person does one wrong thing and you're never going to talk to them again, like all these things that came up from an incident that happened in your past and then changed your personality to one that is more stubborn or inflexible or resistant, like pushing back on things. You know, when you resist something, that's like that energy of pushing back, creating a blockage. And life is not about pushing back or creating a blockage. And natural flow of life, how the universe works, how the earth works, how our planet works, is not about resistance and pushing back. There's no part of our natural habitat that resistance and pushing back is part of flow. It's not. So when you're doing that, you are going against what's natural. Then what happens is you create blocks in your life. So there can be reasons why you don't get what you want in your life when you have these personality traits that are hindering. So that was last week's video and it's a really important video and you should watch that if you have not watched it and watch the first one too in this series. The series is meant to help you start addressing 
change in your life in a way that's going to support you and help you to know which things to address and being able to better attain the change you want in your life and get the things that you want in your life and live the life that you really want. Today I want to talk about the one big habit that's getting in the way of getting what you want in your life. So make sure you listen to this one all the way to the end and get all the knowledge you can in order to get what you want. So I'm so, going to start by saying the past. Now, that's not the big one. This is where we're going to do some focus to reach that big one. So wait for it. So let's talk about why you haven't gotten what you want. Because there can be several aspects that are in the way of why you don't have what you want. And this is what this series about change is about, is I'm giving you different aspects every time I do a video in the series to look at this and address that, and then look at this and address that, and then look at that and address that. I'm giving you a like a mind map. Do you know what a mind map is? It's like you want something and you put that in the middle and then why are the reasons you don't have it? Here are some examples of the mind maps. Each part of the map that goes out has a reason and all the things that have to do with that reason. I'm giving you this mind map in this video series on change. That's why it's important to watch all the videos, take notes and start addressing it. So today we're talking about the past, but that is not the specific one big habit that you are doing that keeps you away from getting what you want. So listen to the whole thing. So going into the past, when there's something that we don't have in our life that we want, a natural habit that we always have as humans is basing our life today on looking at our past. And that's because that's all we absolutely know about anything is what happened in the past. But if you didn't get what you want in the past and you're basing your life and living your life from your experiences of the past, how are you going to get what you want if that wasn't part of the past? And you know me, I'm all about talking about energy. Like energy is number one, understanding energy, knowing how energy works, being able to shift energy, manipulate energy to support you is the ultimate in knowing how to get what you want. And just a sidestep, I have two 40 day video e-courses called uh, Manifesting Breakthroughs. They're on my website and I'll put the link below. And the level one is not only about manifesting, it's really about healing all areas of your life. Because of your mindsets that get in the way of getting what you want, or uh, things that happen to you in your life, or learning how to deal with relationships, or healing those issues that you had with your mother or father. There's 40 different teachings in each one of the levels. Both levels are very in depth, but the first level really addresses how to manage your day-to-day -day life the best way that's really gonna give you a boost in your life. In, in the way you live, the way you think, you're really gonna be able to align yourself so much better with life in general, have better experiences, have better relationships, and understand how to deal with things in relationships. And when you're dealing with things in a better way, you're going to manifest better because you're going to have a better mindset, you're gonna have a better energy, we talk about your energy, and you're gonna have the tools to get through the difficult things and the tools that are gonna support you manifesting what you want. So level one is super good and level two is amazing. Level two is the psychology of energy. And we get really deep on that about energy and how to understand energy, how to work with energy, how to be in your energy, how to attain everything in your energy. Both levels are extremely helpful and you will learn so much. You definitely will learn way more in these courses than you might even learn in a lifetime if you didn't have these courses. Okay. So, so if you keep referring to your past, if you keep living from your experiences of the past, if you keep thinking about your past, but specifically if you're thinking about regrets of your past, 
things that you should have done better, things that you should have done, things that you shouldn't have done, or mistakes you made that you feel like if you would have chose a different way that you wouldn't have made those mistakes. If you would have just chosen another path that you would be in a better place right now. So a lot of times when we're thinking about the past, there's good things in the past, of course, hopefully, uh, but a lot of times as humans, we spend time thinking about the things of the past that really have hurt us or hindered us in some way. So if you're thinking about that stuff, how are you going to get what you haven't gotten that you want? If that thing that you haven't gotten is not in the past, when you're putting a lot of energy in the past, how do you think you're going to get what you want? You're not going to get what you want when your energy is in the energy that doesn't create that. So that's a big deal. Basing your life every day from your past. It is immensely important that you learn to live in today, to live in the present, to live in a state of wonder, really. If you don't want to keep bringing the past into your today, it's something that you're going to, ha going to have to put some energy into stopping that habit because you've been doing it your whole life. But it is totally possible when you learn to live in the present because that's all we have. And in your present is the only time that you can actually receive what you want, that thing that you want. If you're keeping it in your future, you're never going to get to the future because all you ever have is your present, your now. So you have to not be in your past being in your present and you have to not keep what you want in the future. You have to bring it to the present. And the way that you start doing this is to be daily cultivating new ways of thinking, whether you're doing affirmations, whether you're doing cleansing your, your energy of old energy, like clearing your energy so you're not carrying that old energy, or recognizing the habits that you have of the thoughts that you have that keep you from the energy of what you want. So say you wanted $10,000 or say you wanted to be a millionaire, whatever, whatever amount of money. If you are not cultivating the energy that relates to that money that you want, you're going to have a hard time seeing that physical money in your life. It could be love. It could be a job. It could be health. It can be any things, okay? So whatever it is, if you're not daily working on your energy, your mindset, the way you feel about that thing, oh, and if you feel like you're lacking and not having it, you're keeping it away from yourself. Because if you say like, oh, I don't have that, and then you add it, because all my life, the past, this has happened and that has happened and you know, I'm not this and I'm not that and I never had the support or someone kept me away from it or I grew up with poor people or I never learned about how to have relationships. That's why I don't have it. Like when you're doing that, you're just pushing it further and further away. That's the beauty of those 40 day e-course video programs that I have because for 40 days you watch a video every day and it's just building one day to the next and you're learning every day valuable mindsets and tools to help keep you on point for 40 days. And as you know, like Jesus had his 40 days, Moses had his 40 days, like 40 days is the number where you can make a transformation. Whatever you do, positive or negative, but whatever you do to support yourself and stay on point for 40 days, you're going to have a huge transformation. And that's why I did that program to be a 40 day program. So if you're doing that every day for 40 days, you're going to have a very good momentum. You're going to have the mi mindsets cultivating. You're going to start holding the energy of alignment of the things that you want. You're going to start understanding yourself and the ways that you have been hindering yourself all this time. Some you may know, some you're not going to know. 
but that's the value of having that course is really getting to understand yourself of things that you may not have even known that you were doing or people in your life or situations in your life that you had no idea have been hindering you all this time. So that's one way you can keep your energy aligned in the present is having a tool like that to help you stay focused and go get that help to support you. Now let's talk about that number one big habit that gets in the way of what you want. Drum roll, do you know what it is? Oh, it's so easy. The number one big habit that keeps you from getting what you want are you thinking and remembering all the reasons why you don't have it. So how often is there something in your life that you want and you want it so bad and you've tried to manifest it, you tried to take all the actions to get what you want and somehow you just keep missing the mark. But how many times do you spend when you're not having that thing thinking about you don't have it worrying about you don't have it and remembering all the reasons that you don't have it and feeling hopeless because you can't seem to have it be honest with yourself how often do you go to those places where you're thinking about not having it and all the reasons why you don't have it and feeling bad that you don't have it and getting scared and worried that you don't have it and feeling stupid because you don't have it and feeling worthless because you don't have it and feeling less than other people that have it because you don't have it. All of those things are the number one reason why you don't have it because you spend too much time holding the energy in your space with your mindsets and the emotions and the memories and the reasons of why you don't have it. You will never have what you want while you consistently affirm and declare and firmly state and feel why you don't have something. Like you would think that it would be something more complicated, right? Nothing's ever complicated. It's the day-to-day habits of feeling in lack of the things that you want most that keep you from getting what you want. Because the more that you mentally and emotionally dedicate yourself to seeing that you don't have it and all the reasons why you don't have it and how horrible you feel because you don't have it, there's no way that can come. No. The universe is always listening to you. The universe will give you what you say. So if you're talking and feeling all of these reasons of why you don't have it, the universe says they don't have it. They're, they clearly don't have it. How can the universe give it to you when you're setting yourself up to not be able to have it? So here's where the homework comes in. You have to start living in the present. I already said that. You have to be present. You have to pull your energy in in the morning and say, I'm going to be present. I'm going to be here today. I am only going to focus on what I can do today. This is what I want. What things can I do today to put some support and energy and build up my momentum to get what I want? So maybe it's some affirmations that you start your day with affirmations. Maybe it's you go get an energy clearing to get rid of the blocks and energy that's standing in the way of this thing. Maybe it's help to shift your mindset. And a lot of times, like working with me as a spiritual mentor, I can see where you need to tweak those things. And I can actually have a conversation with you to help you to understand and shift you so it'll shift your mindset 
So it'll, you'll be like, oh, like that totally makes sense. And then you'll take that on and now you're going to be approaching it with a completely different mindset. Sometimes that's what you need. It all depends on what you need. Like where, look at yourself and pay attention to where your thoughts go. Where are you falling short? And then take some steps to fix that. It's kind of like, you know, where you have a, a table and it's wobbling because one leg is short, which you're like, okay, what is the short leg? It's okay, it's that one. All right, what do I have that I can stick under there to support that leg? Okay, well, maybe a thin piece of paper is not going to support that leg. Maybe a, a coaster size thing will support that leg. Maybe not. Maybe you need more of something that's thicker that's going to support that leg. You have to think about what kind of support you need. You know, is it an emotional thing? Is it a mental thing? Is it an energetic thing? Is it the people around you? Is it the toxic environment that you go to every day? What is it that you see as an issue where you're falling short and you need support and, and where can you get that support or how can you support yourself? And then you focus on those things every day and you just break it down day by day. Don't think about tomorrow don't, and definitely don't think about yesterday. Think about today, how you're supporting yourself to attain what you want most today by recognizing where you're falling short and correcting it, finding the tools to help support you, to shift that, to stabilize yourself and to keep you moving and your momentum growing. If you work on it every day like that, you will see your results. So that is the number one biggest habit that gets in the way of getting what you want, is you remembering all the reasons why you don't have it. So do yourself a favor and start doing some self-inquiry every day when you hear yourself say something that's out of alignment, that sounds like lack, that sounds like worry, sounds like victim, that is bringing you down, you have to notice it and then you have to shift it. You have to have a tool to shift it. So, you know, get a journal, write things down, write down what you catching yourself thinking and then think about how you can support yourself. Do you just need something that's a little support? Do you need something that's a little thicker? Or do you need some support that's this thick? Like you have to be on your game. If you really want to attain something in your life, you have to do what it takes to get there. And if you're having a hard time doing it yourself, seek out help. I already told you about my 40 day program. That is amazing. Or working with me, one-on-one, -on -one. that is amazing. Or going on a spiritual journey with me and a, and a small group, that is amazing. I have different tools that we can use to help shift you to not only get what you want, but to ultimately live the life that you really want. You are worthy of it. There is no one in this world that is blessed more than anyone else. What really matters is what you're doing, your mindsets, your emotional state, and what you're willing to do to get the life that you want. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notifications of when I'm uploading another video because I'm going to continue to do more videos in this series about change. If you haven't watched the other two videos, please go back and watch those because they're all going to be helpful for you. Make sure you're taking notes and then work on what I have told you for the week and then come back for the new video a week later. That's really going to help you. And you can check out my website for my 40 day program, the spiritual journeys, the one on one work, and the link is in the description below and make sure you like and comment on this video. That really helps with getting this video out to more people. I really appreciate that. And I will see you in the next video. Have a good